Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to the colonists as we carry on with island number three. We're going to try and build a boat. I'm on a boat, little robot. Um, apologies if you've uh, left some feedback in the last episode. I am batch recording these a little, so uh, no idea what you said. But I'm sure it was hilarious or very useful. So thanks for that. Right, let's, um, we've got the Kaylee's Workshop select research. So boat building is done, which is good. Cobbled roads allow road layer and stone roads, which allow carry bots to work faster. Ooh, I can't see that being a massive thing, though. Train station. Ooh, there's loads to do. Carpeting increases uh, sapling growth speed. I, chopping down stuff would be better. Is there a quicker chopping down? Proves mining speed of surface mines and shaft mines. That might be useful. We've done that one, no? Oh no, we cancelled that one. Right, let's get that. Because we're going to be looking for clay pretty soon. Um, because we need clay to make bricks, which in turn we need to make our monument. So, we can now be able to build a boatyard. I guess is here somewhere? Um, no? Uh, here? No? Uh, transport? Boatyard. Let's see if we can uh, get one, squeeze one of these in somewhere. Oh, yes, look at that. Okay, hopefully we can get the path up to there. I think we should be able to. I'm going to I'm gonna say that's doable and see if we can figure it out. So let's... Um, I'm, only, I'm only slightly unsure because the ground... It had a little bit of an issue with some of the ground textures here. But I think we should be all right to bang do that. Nice. Okay, so let's get that going. Uh, our boatyard just requires planks and stones, so not too much actually. And um, it's gonna make uh, three. What does that mean? Three by one length. Ah, that's the dock yards. That's the boat we can make. Length three, breadth one, capacity twelve, speed four, construction twenty-four planks. Begin construction. Okay. Stuff's coming in. Build seafaring boat. <laughs> that said seafaring. <laughs> oh, such a child. Uh, seafaring boats. We just need some planks. But all this should be done because we haven't been using stuff for ages. We've got stones stacked up here. There is no stone there anymore. Good. We can now get rid of you. Thank you for your service. Uh, but you're out of there. Okay. And also that bit of road as well. Good. Okay. Let's come out of that. So there we've got this whole space here for maybe I'm thinking more apples, but... Had this hell of a lot of apples, actually, in the orchards. Yeah, I think we're okay for apples. Maybe... Is there anything with low one? I mean, wood, probably. We could pro probably another... Wood seems to be the only thing that we're really waiting for, because it kind of... I'd like to sort of back it up a little. Um, Alright, while that's being done, especially with boats coming in, let's get some... Uh, Let's get some extra wood. So we'll get another forestry in. Let's see if we can stick you somewhere. I was kind of thinking you could go out of the way a little bit because you're just gonna you're just gonna directly feed into a uh, a lumber mill. So let's put you there. All right. Path. There to there. Oh, that's a bit funky. Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. And then here we're going to... Uh, plant area needs to be kind of like that, really. All right. And then a lumberjack hut. You're going to come off you. Um... Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be more sensible, isn't it? To have that. There we go. Uh, so let's just uh, delete that bit of path there. That's good, and add it back in to make that a little bit more sensible. There we go. You're gonna plant trees. You're gonna chop them down, and we could get something in here. But I don't really think we're desperate for anything. Maybe another sawmill, but they're pretty big, aren't they? Sawmills. Um. I think we don't necessarily need sawmills. It's more logs coming into the sawmill is what's more important. Everything else we're pretty backed up on. Wells, stone, loads of stone storage in there. So this guy's going to go and get these big trees in while these ones grow. And otherwise, what I'd like is to have some more planks backed up, basically. Because uh, at the moment, everywhere's kind of waiting for planks. Right, let's begin construction on a boat. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at that. 
24 planks, you see. That's quite a fair few planks, and they're all going to be coming from here. Um, what I want what I want to happen is that Vita can't make them quick enough, That which seems to be happening a little bit there. That's what, that's what we didn't have. We didn't have any logs backed up there, which is a key problem for, uh, for old Vita. Let me move my mic down a little bit. There we go. Right, there... Wood is cooking on gas now. Uh, workshop is available. So mining has been completed. That's good. So I think they're the main things we're going to need. Let's have a look. Construction. I mean, construction speed isn't be, isn't going too bad. Construction. Two, do we need construction too for the monument? I think we might do, you know. You can upgrade workshops in order to research more. Build a boat. Yeah, working on that. Working on that. Let's just check that second monument again. It does need construction too, so let's start working towards that then, so we're ready for it. Uh, unlocks construction too. Unlocks brickyard and construction too. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do both of them, so we may as well work towards them. Planks are going to come in here. Yeah, okay, 9 of 24. That's fine. Yeah, because we've got... There's very little other resources on here. There's a bit of stone right up the back here that I think we'd struggle to get to without chopping some trees down. But other than that, you don't have to be prioritised anymore. Deprioritise you. Um, other than that, I think we're doing alright. Looks like the... Uh, the planters... Are kind of keeping up like they they yeah they're pretty big what about these little ones oh yeah so they're not grown 95% grown okay so they can't be cut down until they're fully grown that's fine my worry was that they were gonna start chopping down little ones and not actually getting much wood from them in return you see but that's all right do these fish ever seem to they don't seem to go down do they these fish things no it's infinite that's good that was my other worry was that eventually we would we would over over fish farm you know Still waiting on planks. Where's where's our uh, planks coming from? They are going down there. Ah, they're going to the research. No, 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 no. We need to prioritise our boat, please. So now the wood, the planks should start coming all the way past. Let's have a look. Yes, better. See, a lot of these systems, I know that, you know, it's the core of the gameplay, so they need to be working, but they work really well. Just that one click of the button then, and the wood instantly starts going to the right place. It's very very fast feedback and very visual feedback as well you know from a, a, just at a glance i mean i don't know you'll have to let me know in the comments does this look like a hot mess to you because i can look at this and very clearly see where stuff's coming from where stuff's going even at the higher speed um i'm kind of happy with that with how it's all being put together um i'm also thinking about how i could reprioritize certain areas to make them a little bit more efficient I think we're doing pretty well here, and I think moving the um, the food and the drink onto this second tier of road here, so that the wood and stone can come down this one, is actually a pretty good idea. I'd be interested to know whether or not um, the robots sort of preferentiate the... Because technically, wood stone coming from here down to here, going either this way or this way, would travel the same air distance. So I wonder whether they would preferentiate one where is isn't having other stuff transferred. I don't know whether they do that or not. It'd be interesting to know. How are we going on here? We need one more plank and our boat is done. I'd maybe like to see the boat develop a little bit as it's built. As I've got a feeling it's just gonna yeah, it's just gonna pop done. You've built your first boat! When a boat is complete, you can either create a route between existing harbours or assign it to an expedition to explore the seas and build a new harbour on another island. As this is your first boat, you need to start collecting resources for an expedition at a harbour. When ready, select your boat and assign it to the expedition. Okay, so... Expedition. Uh, collect resources. Yes, please. Transport routes. We have no routes yet. There are no resources on route either. Yeah, there are stones. Ah, that means coming into it from the from a boat, I assume. Okay. All right. Is that now got what it needs? Provisions ready. To begin the expedition, select an a available boat and assign it to the ex expedition. Okay, so let's click this boat here. Assign to expedition. Jada's Harbor. Okay. Right. So that's going to come into the dock. 
This stuff's going to get shipped onto it. Nice. So this is basically what we need to build a harbour somewhere else. Which is how we're going to be, uh, I think, working this. Expedition boat is ready. Select it to enter navigation mode. You can now click on a water tile to explore the ocean and discover new islands. You can check the map with M screen to see where the hidden resources are located. Once you've found new islands, use the build harbour option on the boat panel to construct a harbour uh, on your new land. Okay, so click the boat. So, um, right, this whole map is the opposite way around from how we're looking at the game. Okay, so let's just... Let's just help ourselves out and and, and uh, line all this up, all right? So th there we go. That's how the map looks. Good. So stuff is either... There's loads of stuff this way or there's a bit of stuff that way. So I think we're going to go over this way, right? So let's, let's head out on our boat. New, oh, it's nowhere near as far as I thought. Okay. But that's not going to be a very nice landing area. I, I just... Sorry, I just need to get a, you know... Playing the YouTube game. I need that screenshot. There we go. Um, right, so let's move you... No, I don't want the, I want the actual boat itself. There we go. Let's go up this way. See if we can find some sort of landing. Oh, yeah, there's a beach over here, look. Okay. So, pretty solid beach here. I think the main thing is... Shall we, shall we do a tour of the island and see... If we can really see what's on the island. It looks like we're not really finding any negatives here of, of keeping our boat going. Which is pretty good. It looks like the island's just got one spot to go on, which is fine. So I guess we risk it for a biscuit as to whether or not we, uh, we land here or not. Because... They very cleverly... Oh, no, we've got clay. Okay, I was going to say, they very cleverly managed to c cover the interior of the island up from the outside of the island using these stones. But we know there's clay, and we need clay. So I am quite happy to come in and build a harbour uh, right here. Uh, your new harbour is under construction. Your boat has been automatically created a transport route between your new harbour and its original harbour. Resources will automatically be delivered through your harbours when they are requested by buildings on either island. As your colony expands, you may want to control which resources can pass through the network in order to prevent resources being sourced from too far away or from different islands. Check out the transport rule system by assigning a road post on your harbour. Awesome. So at the moment... We're pretty. Ha we're not going to be building up here anymore, so we're pretty happy to move the stone from here over to here. So I haven't got to worry too much about it not dishing out stone. Uh, we're going to need a watchtower, aren't we, over here on our new island? So let's get that done. Um, oh wow, it's exciting! I mean, I am genuinely excited, little. So let's uh, let's. Um, I mean, that's about as far as we can go. We're going to have to be building a few of these, I think. We'll start with the one. So I think if we stick a road in, that should automatically start to request stuff. Ah, there is a generation here. Okay. So that generates the, the dude. So the little robots haven't got to come on. But now what should be happening is stone, a uh, wood should be coming here. There we go. And now, is it a time thing to just go back and forth or is it going to wait for the wood? No, more wood is coming here, look. So it must just be on a timer. This wood gets taken off this side and built. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay. So basically, we need we need clay. Let's see. What do you need? Let's have a look here. Uh, you need ah, tools to research scaffolding level 2. Um, let me just remind ourselves. We do need scaffolding level 2 because we need construction level 2. So we need to start making some tools. Um, iron ore deposit. I think tools are going to require a blacksmith. Is that making tools? Yeah, you are going to turn iron, planks, and coal into tools. So we need a mine capable of finding coal and more. So let's just keep heading up here for a moment. Oh, it's really, uh... 
I think I think they could maybe extend the reach of those watchtowers a little. I feel like I feel like the the reach of a watchtower could be extended a little. Okay. Cause that we're gonna need another one just to get to iron. Iron, iron, clay. Did it not find coal? Oh, don't tell me we need to build another harbour somewhere else for coal. Let's get up here and hopefully there's coal. This can be our sort of industrial island. <laughs> it's where all the good stuff happens. This is where we get iron and coal and all sorts of goodies. I feel like probably wood and stone wouldn't be... No, because otherwise they're not doing anything over here, are they? We might as well keep using the... It takes a little longer for the ship to go back and forth, but... Alright, good. Watchtower, stone available. No, there's not coal up here. Iron? That's iron and that's iron. And that's clay. We're going to... I mean, we're just going to have to keep working our way up, really. I think we could probably get rid of you now. Uh, uh, okay, we can with a little bit of road maintenance. There we go. That helps, because I don't want hundreds of these watchtowers around. They're silly. I mean, look at that. Look how little they actually extend the place. You know? As long as we can get up to here, I think it's probably access acceptable. Road. Boom. Oh, we're moving around some stone there. Okay. we go. Construction bot is in. So now the wood is already on its way here. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh, I clicked a button. Clicked a button and did a little jumpy jump. Alright. There's definitely no coal over here, is there? Stone. Yeah, that's pretty much empty. But there is, if we need it... Oh no, there's one there that we can't see. Look, I really hope that's coal. If not, we need to set up another boat run here to this. Which is fine. We can do it if we need to. But really... You would think, uh, you know, one one expedition would be enough, wouldn't you? Here comes the here comes the woods. Not much of it though. Three pieces. It's going to need a few more, I think. Oh no, three might be enough actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, three might be enough. Yeah, it was enough. Good. Nice. Here comes the uh, the watcher bot. Let's have a look at that. Um, no, that's stone as well. Ouch. Okay. So at least we can get to our iron now, which we do need. So let's get some iron being produced at least. So uh, shaft mine. Um, remind myself how to do these. We have to line them all up, don't we? There we go. So uh, flip it a little to make the road a little bit neater. There we go road there and then we can do a path off it there we go okay so now we've got unlimited iron coming in which is good they pretty much just get straight to work i think i oh, know it still needs constructing with some planks okay so that's that um then we also need some clay which is up there but i'm gonna see seeing as we're gonna have to come over to this other island anyway i'm gonna see whether or not there's some clay that's a little bit more accessible so let's begin ex uh, construction on another boat and now pretty much it's all about the planks again so the sawmill a lot of wood in storage i do wonder whether or not a second sawmill would help us out let's have a look um if we could fit one in there oh we can't. If we re if we readjusted this one, we could. There's no way of moving a building, is there? No, we can only delete a building. We can destroy it, and I think it just get we just lose everything, don't we? That's a shame. But I do think it's probably worth it in the long run. So let's 
what we can do, you see, is put it... Oh, no, we can't. We can put it... Okay, we can put it there. Which isn't too bad, because it just means stuff's going to have to come around there. And then we can put in another sawmill. Here, and this is... So this is basically... This is the wood island there. This is... We make wood here. And you're, and, and you're going to be done with it. All right? So that's fine by me. This is the wood island. Stuff's going in. Iron ore created. Bernice has generated the colony's first iron ore. You are a legend. All right. So what we're going to have to do now is set up a boat from here to the other island, and then eventually a third boat that goes between. So we've got basically like a triangle of, of boats doing the rounds, haven't we? That's probably going to be the way to do it. I hope boats can go to multiple boats can go to multiple, can go to a single harbor. That's going to be an interesting task. Now we have iron being generated, we need to turn that into tools. And to do that, we need a blast furnace, which turns iron and coal into tools. We have no coal. Still have no coal. Okay, well, even still, we might as well get this going here. Uh, boat ready. Nice. So you're going to... Uh, expedition... From you, Jada? Yeah, Jada. So from from oh no, we need to set up an expedition, don't we? Okay, so collect resource for an expedition. Um, oh, these guys are all going crazy now. We have an idle boat. I am well aware we have an idle boat. But planks are coming in. Planks are there. We've got planks thick and fast. In fact, all the planks are already there. Look, and stone. We've got loads of stone set up. Okay, so one more stone. There we go. So let's assign that again then. Let's try. Assign to expedition. Assign. Yeah, so we can have multiple boats there. Good. So Yasmin's Clipper. Let's go. Oh, it's got to come into the boat. Okay, that's fine. So yes, multiple ones can use it. They just have to wait their turn. That's good. So come on. Let's go and let's go out here and find our second island and hope to Christ there's coal on it. <laughs> It's this way, isn't it? Yes. ta -da! I think probably a scoot around is a good idea. Coal deposit within sight. Stone deposit within sight. We actually need very little else. So I'm just going to come up here. It's cold. I wonder if that's going to make a difference for us. I wonder if that's going to affect the robots. Uh, maybe how fast they go. Actually, this looks like this second half of the island is useless, but... Let's just do the rounds because that's a sensible thing to do. Unless, no, that's the edge of the map. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, let's come over here then and build the harbour. Oh, can't wait to see if we stopped, have we? No, we can do it. Um, all right, we'll build you there. Here it comes through the, sto through the stone. Got more fish here as well. It's good. Where are you going? Oh, it's good. It's fine. They've got the stuff. <laughs> oh, boat's off on one already. So, yeah. Coal and stone, underground stone deposit. We're going to set that up as well because we are very quickly using resources here. We've only got 22 stone left once that's gone. So, an unlimited stone deposit is probably a good idea. Interested whether or not the snow is going to affect us here at all. But I guess we won't really know. Until we're a bit more established, will we? So let's go... Oh, it's such a shame that we can't quite clip that stone one in place. I guess we could build a second one in a moment. In fact, we'll do that. Let's build one here, a little bit further away from where we want it, because then we could put another one here and get rid of this one. Will probably be a pretty sensible thing, if I do say so myself. There we go. So... Automatically set up a thing. Yeah, Yasmin's Clipper. Won't have anything on it, I don't think. Yeah, that's fine, Yasmin. You go back and get yourself some wood. Which is what we really need. You're still waiting for tools. That's fine. Blast furnace set up. Yeah, waiting for coal. Alright, so let's get another boat being made. Um... Yeah, because we're going to have to set up one from here to here that will shift coal, basically. Here to here for wood. 
here to here for wood and other stuff coming back of course but otherwise it's mostly going to be that little sort of triangle of, uh, of deliveries that's pretty good I think that's all the wood they need for that so they should smash through that okay how are we doing for two years it's now year two month three no we've taken too long to get gold so that's fine because we kind of messed up a little bit at the beginning didn't we um upgrade a workshop generate iron we've generated iron we don't want to construct oh, blah, 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 blah. there we go okay cool right let's just hold the brakes a sec. and also we've been playing it at fast speed which we should probably really pause while we build and stuff as well so what I would like to do here then is get another watchtower over here and try and figure out where it's going to be. There should be okay. Okay. Stick a road. There. And up to there. Good. And once that's done, we can get rid of this one. Just because I think they're a bit useful. Useless having them all around. Uh, road post. Everything's cooking on gas again. We've got lots of planks coming in now. That's good. I know, I know that efficiency is low. But that's because they're all sat there with stuff ready to go, and that's kind of what you want, I think. We have a boat available. Okay. So now, let's create a transport route. So, Arbor Stop. Uh, yeah, you. And add a Harbor Stop. You. There you go. Oh, we can actually make a loop. That's interesting. We won't, though. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep the three separate. I think, but that's interesting to know that you can, it doesn't have to be a A and B. You can have a C in there as well if you want. Okay. Right, that watchtower's up and running. Let's get that staffed. There we go. We can now get rid of you. There we go. And that keeps that all neat. Good stuff. And then we will build two shaft mines. One here. We'll flip it. One here. And one here, again, we'll flip it. Boom. Let's get a road up to him. There to there. Nice. Bit of path. And, uh, and you're cooking on gas. Yasmin, clear off. Go and get yourself... Um, some stone and stuff that you need, please. Thank you. And then uh, that's all we need for iron to make iron. So we now need. We have an idle boat. Jacob's clipper. Confirm. Sorry, we have to actually get it started. There we go. Um, and then that was going to produce us iron ingots. So from that, we're going to build tools. So blacksmith makes tools. Yeah, from iron. So this is what we need up here. Hmm. That's rather annoying. I mean, I guess we could move it down here. It gives them all something to do, doesn't it? Doesn't have to be... No, that's probably more useful, isn't it, there? It's just shorter distances. That's what we want, shorter distances. See you, Jacob Slipper. Okay. I don't think... I was really trying to finish this episode, uh, this uh, level on this episode, but I don't think we're going to because we still have a little bit of a way to go. Once we've got tools set up needed for this, we then still need... Um, when it's, it needs tools. Once the tools are done, we still need to get brick lane done, which in turn will get us construction too. Um, which I, and then we need to make bricks. And then we can do our monument. So, yeah, we'll definitely finish it next episode. But I don't think we're quite going to get it signed off here. But I've really enjoyed setting up these other islands. That's a really neat mechanic. Um, yeah, happy about that. Okay, cool. Right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
If you have, you can give us a like, it really does help with the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to click subscribe. Any thoughts, queries or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. If you'd like to see a chat, you can find me on Twitter, I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server, you'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much to all of our patrons who make these videos possible through their generous pledges at patreon.com slash geekism. And don't forget to check out our affiliate links uh, in the descriptions to get yourself some cheap games and other goodies whilst helping out the channel too. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.